Hi, my name is Brittany Behrens and I'm a program manager on the Visual Studio Editor team. This video shows a demo of our recent work on box selection, including the ability to make multi-line edits, which is new for Visual Studio 2010. You're likely familiar with standard or stream selection, which selects lines of text. Previous versions of Visual Studio have also had the ability to make box or column selections, which typically select a rectangle of text and do not include entire lines. For example, say we want to change this group of private fields so that they are no longer read-only. We can hold Alt and drag our mouse to make a box selection that includes just the read-only modifiers and delete them all with a single keystroke. Now suppose we have new style guidelines for our code and we want to prefix all of these fields with M underscore. We'd like to do the opposite of a box deletion and make a sort of box insertion, which was not possible in previous versions of Visual Studio. Now in VS 2010, we can create a zero width box selection and type M underscore, and the text appears on all of these lines at once. We'd also like to change this group of public fields so that now they're internal instead of public. So we can make a box selection and start typing to replace internal everywhere we had public. We can even make multi-line edits in virtual space, for example, to add comments at the end of a line. And if we make a mistake, we can backspace and continue our multi-line edits. Finally, we'd like to write a new method that prints out all of the available pens. Let's call it print all pens. Without box selection, we'd have to type out five lines and five pen names, or at least type out one line and do a lot of copying and pasting, which can get tedious. But with box selection and multi-line editing, we can type out the command that we'd like to execute, console.writeline, and then make a single box selection to copy and paste all of our pen names at once. Now all we have to do is remove the semicolons and we're done, which is much easier than all of the typing or repetitive copy and paste that we would have had to do without multi-line edits. Visual Studio has had box selection for several versions now, which allowed users to delete text on multiple lines at once. But now in Visual Studio 2010, you can not only delete but also insert, replace, and edit text on multiple lines at once, which we hope will reduce repetitive typing and enhance developer productivity. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the new box selection feature for VS 2010.